Hi. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. There's so many of you. Hello. Welcome on in. Hello. 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 Hi. Hey. Continuing with our Crooked Hearts by Melissa, Melissa Albert, the team reindeer. Hello. Joining from my new laptop. Ooh, what laptop did you get? That's an exciting day. Hey, Josh. Very excited. As I finally ordered a new phone. Yes. What did you get? What did you get? In Room by Emma O'Donoghue. Oh, Donoghue, sorry. Uh, joining 49% of Tell Me How It Ends by Quinton Lee. What is everybody reading? What is everybody up to? How is everybody doing with Polathon if you are taking part? If you're not and you're just here for the sprints, then hi. What are you reading anyway? What are you up to? Yellow. Hi. Hi. Hello. I'm really lazy watching the news. Another eruption started. Oh my God, another one. And safe. Oh, 10k people are losing hot water. That's terrifying. There's so many happening at the moment in Iceland. Hello, 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 reading the heroes. We well, agree, I hope everyone stays safe. Yeah, that's a good distraction choice. That is a good distraction choice. Hello, hi, Alex, 74% of the winter house. Yay, you're welcome. Hello, reading Iron Flame. 38% into the Twyfer Code, and I'm slightly obsessed. I DNF'd that one. I did not get on with that. There was something about the narration. I just didn't enjoy it very much with that one, which I am slightly sad about because it had the potential. I really liked the... Oh, sorry, that is my uh, email telling me we're live. I really liked um, the appeal. I have the Alton Angels to read, so I'm hoping that one's good. I think I have that one. Yeah, I have the Alton Angels to read. Yes, good choice. Didn't see the need the pro lineup, but I fancied some more screen place. Yes, good shout. Oh, sorry. I'm getting very loud beeps. Rereading Red Seas Under Red Skies. Hello, Nikki. Finished washing dishes so I can finish the last 50 pages of The Girl in the Tower. That's a good choice for Polathon. I haven't read it, but like that is so polary, isn't it? Reading Discovery of Witches. Testing a game. Want to hang out in here while doing so. Yeah welcome on in thank you for chilling currently reading cherry magic 30 years of virginity can make you a wizard gap that sounds like an excellent title also hi <laughs> obviously still reading girl goddess queen and not read anymore since they started it the other day are you enjoying it steph oh okay right how are you finding it because that is my current read and i'm literally right at the start of it i had a weird experience yesterday whilst i was reading this book i don't think it was because of the book or anything but i was sat like right hang on for context you know when you read a scottish folk fantasy type of book and there's like some weird fantasy situation it's some kind of like old earthly thing and it's very strange and it's very uncanny and unnerving and the, maybe the main character is new to the town and they don't know anything about it and there's always that older couple that know something like there's either like an old man or an old woman who knows something and act really weird do you know what I mean because I feel like everyone I've talked to about this is like what are you talking about you guys will know right so with that in your mind I was sat reading this now the covers I suppose shiny and stuff but I don't see why like it's not it's not really a book to point out or anything I was sat reading it in a cafe yesterday and I was in the corner of the cafe there was nothing behind me. It was a blank wall. I was sat in a very blank area. There wasn't anything in my vicinity. There was this couple opposite me who I hadn't really paid any attention to. And then they suddenly both started looking at me, like constantly turning around and looking at me, directly at me. And then they started like symbolizing like this to me, like not like this, <laughs> but they were like demonstrating something. And then they were whispering to each other about something on me. And I have my book like here so it was either my book or like it was like a necklace or something I had a very normal simple gold chain or necklace on it was really weird and they started talking to each other whispering but they were like and then they were pointing at me and then pointing it was literally pointing directly at me and the reason I say about the folk thing is they were a Scottish couple and the whispering and stuff it just started to give me this idea of when I've listened to audiobooks like that um and then they suddenly completely went into silence complete silence and then just stared at each other in silence for about five minutes and then the man just started sucking his top lip like for like every 10 seconds it was so weird I genuinely thought they were just gonna like follow me out and like pull me down an alleyway it was very strange I don't know why they were looking at me I maybe I've got some kind of weird aura because I walked past somebody um 
last week I was just out for a walk. I had my headphones in. I was talking to my mum on the phone and this woman walked past me um, and she, I didn't think anything of her. And as she was walking past me, it looked like she was saying something to me and I had my headphones in so I couldn't hear. So I turned around and I still couldn't hear her, but she was still speaking, but she was looking at me going like that to me. And I'm like, have I got like a haunting on me? Is there something like, is, is there something on my back? <laughs> It was so weird. Anyway, I went off a tangent there, but it was a very strange experience. And I thought I needed to tell people that might understand the types of characters that I meant. Hello, Timmy. <laughs> reading Star Sea and Assassin's Apprentice. Oh, what are you going to be reading tonight? How do you pick? Hello, having a lazy day. Just finished up The Return of the Kings. Nice. Reading Song of Silver, Flame Like Night. I'm reading Skeleton Key. Oh, I really want to read that. I'm quite excited about that. How is it, Amber? Yeah. Hope you finish Ruin today. Hi, Carrie. I hope you can finish it. I know what you meant. No, I got you. I'm glad that you're liking it. Isn't it just beautiful and whimsy? Hello, reading The Poison Garden. Hey, Jinx. Ah. Sorry, comments weren't funny. Hi, Alicia. Ooh, okay. I'm excited for you, Pip. I'm excited. Listening to Fool's Errand could easily finish it this eve, as well as Red Rising. What happens when an ancient volcanic system wakes up after 800 years? Oh, that is so scary. I really hope you're okay and everyone else is okay. Everyone's train is a suspect. That's a good title. I'm assuming that's a thriller. That's a very good title. Reading Iron Flame tonight, finally past the halfway point. Don't think I'll be able to finish it tonight, but if I get enough done today, I might be able to tomorrow. I hope that you can. Reading Meet Me in Another Life. I have that one to read. Is it good, Chloe? Would you recommend? Hello, reading a German fantasy dystopia. I need to do my workout slash yoga. Sending you the motivation if you need it for that. I went on a walk earlier for literally 20 minutes and that is my exercise done for the day. <laughs> I'm going to go on a really long walk on Saturday, I think, though. Struggle with the narration at first, but I got used to it. Still don't love the narration. I'm intrigued. It's bothering me. Okay, fair. I think it kind of ruined it for me, unfortunately. Hello, how are you doing? 70% of first lie wins done. Nice. Housemaid Secret, loving it. How's everyone doing for snowballs as well? And Team Arctic Fox, you know. What teams are you guys in? Give us the emojis. What's the split? Not listening to Luminaries when painting nails. I'm actually working really super hard. I believe it, Bethany. I I, I totally, I believe it. <laughs> Living in a disaster movie with a funeral family drama. Oh, I'm so sorry. That is not very pleasant sending you all the love. It's not going to do the love heart thing because I don't have it on this computer, but I'm sending you all the love. Reading Emily Ward's Encyclopedia of Fairies. That looks so cute. Voyage of Dogs. Listen, loving the audio. That sounds like a fun book title. 145 pages left of We Are the Dead. Try my best to finish this tonight. Alicia, is this the one where Jade was saying that it has the really creepy cover? Good so far, only 30 pages in exams to a priority. Yeah, that's fair. Very close to the end of City of Stardust. I'm kind of ready for it to be over. Oh, meh. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I'm intrigued. I mean, I'm like three chapters in, so I'm intrigued to see how I find it. Sogging through House of Sky and Breath, 40% in it currently. It's so boring. That's the second one, isn't it? Yeah, that one is a little dull. Not gonna lie. This, the third one picks up, but that one is definitely not my favorite. It's the start of your chosen origin story. I mean, yeah, it, it yeah. <laughs> it was really weird. It was the fact that, like, you know, when someone's pointing and you think they might be pointing at you, but actually it's probably like this piece of art behind you or something. There was so nothing behind me at all. And I just, I've never felt more conscious. I was like, it's like my top see through and I forgot to put a bra on like does my book actually have like a naked person on the front of it like I just it was so weird I definitely didn't want to leave before them they left first and I was glad that they left first it was so weird it just felt really really strange yeah I did make direct eye contact with them when they were pointing at me I literally so many times because like you know if it happens once maybe they were saying oh I wish we'd have sat at her table or something you know but they were constantly literally like talking to each other pointing at me it was very weird it was really friggin weird I'm glad that you guys um yeah have unity with me here yes I think that's what it what it is 
I think that thing was weird. I wish I'd have been able to hear what she was saying, but obviously because I was talking to my mum, I, I had that audio in my head instead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I won't be able to read tonight because it's my sister's B day. Happy birthday to your sister. Going out, we could quite finish. Delicious Monster, first Polophon book. Yes, Team Arctic Fox. Good. I've started speaking in tongues or something and freaked them out. Oh my God, I should have. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, welcome on in. It was so creepy. <laughs> it's, I'm just wondering if I've got like something happening with my aura or something, and you know, they could see that. I don't know. Or like it's like that Doctor Who episode where Donna has something on her back and everyone's like, there's something on your back. Like it was just there's I don't know. I mean, I already think I thought I was psychic enough yesterday because I drove past my stepdad who lives 45 minutes away from me in a completely different county and I happened to drive past him yesterday like because we both happened to be traveling like opposite directions to each other and I didn't even know and neither did he that we were going to be out driving so that was I already think I'm psychic from that <laughs> yay I'm glad not used to over 100, pay 100 people. There's Yeah, there's a lot of people who got these prints for public. Yeah, we usually do Patreon sprints to a smaller gathering. It's it's cool. There's so many people here. I, I like being able to grow the community as well. It's nice to have lots of chats. I think I'm keeping up the comments so far. I'm doing okay. I think if, if, I think, I don't know if Jade's joining a bit later or not. I know Steph isn't, but we'll see how the comments maintain then because <laughs> I'll get distracted. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Well done for getting that job. Ah, oh, that's, I'm just so excited. That's like such a good job for you. 20 pages in, so ask me again later. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Reading Radium Girls. Don't know about the odd couple, but the woman I've not, not realised you're on the phone. Well, this is what I thought, but I wasn't, it wasn't like I was going, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Have you seen the video of Boris Johnson where he like accidentally breaks out into like a witch chant in the middle of an interview. <laughs> it wasn't like that, you know. I always try, I actually try and deliberately make it clear I'm on the phone when I'm walking past people just in case they think I'm speaking to them. But I mean, I don't know. It was, yeah. We have a team reindeer reading a Dutch translation of a German book that takes place in Ireland. Lots of different cultures going on there. Five snowballs, nice reindeer. Yeah, there's a lot of emails coming through. Um, I apologize. I like keeping my emails coming through as notifications because whenever I get like one that's like someone signed up to your Patreon, I still, I've, it's been three years of Patreon this next week. And every time I get that email, I'm st I still get all excited. So I like to keep the notifications on literally just for the small amount of serotonin that that brings me. But the rest of them are all spam. So yeah, sorry about the email noises. <laughs> oh, hello. Welcome on in. Been missed to make Jade read it ASAP. My mission to make Jade read it. Okay. Yeah. Do, do. I mean, I definitely think she should buy Kindle and then she doesn't have to look at the cover. Hello. Got 100 pages left. Yeah. You can smash that out. I read like 300 pages on Tuesday, which was intense. It was intense. Arctic Fox. Five snowballs. We'll count it all up on Sunday. I, so I'm listening to the audiobook of A Haunting in the Arctic, and there was a friggin' Arctic fox in this book. There was an Arctic fox mentioned in the book. Couldn't make it up. Considering my reading plans were awry, because she hates me, has the flavor shadows. Foiled cover, that's true. Does have a foil cover. Four snowballs so far. Hello, welcome on in. Have earned 12 snowballs. Maybe they were subscribers and recognize you. I mean, I guess that could have been an option. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll go with that. That makes me feel less like I'm possessed by some kind of evil spirit. <laughs> Paul Bear, Explorer Club, Volume 2, Perfect Choice of Polathon. Oh, that definitely is. Submit all my snowballs and books on Sunday to make it easier on myself. Yeah, fair enough. Hello, cat. Actually home from work at reasonable time. Yeah, going to be reading House of Flame and Shadow. Nice and updating notion. Yeah. It was just so strange. It was so weird. And then it was like followed by the silence that was just extremely strange. Decided which team I was on yet, but last night I was bullied into joining Jade's team, but I'm on a trap for 16 snowballs. Join my team. Join mine. Have you submitted any snowballs yet? Okay, here's three reasons you should join mine. One, Arctic Foxes are super cool. Um, two, uh, we're going to win. And three, I have an evil spirit surrounding me. And the more people that join my team, 
will help to banish my evil spirit. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> oh, starting Queen of Snow. Nice. Yay. Chance driving crossovers are weird. Yeah, they are weird. I bumped into my mum on the South M25 services at 2 a.m. What? That's really weird. That's really, really weird. Reading Absolution. Was it Siphon's book? But not so much now. I think I have... Wait, do I have that? No, I don't think I... Does that have a crow on the front of it or something? I don't think I do. Have I made that up? I don't know. I think I'm just under my 19th snowball. Oh my god, you are tearing through Alex. No better once I finish this book. I have been averaging 200 to 300 pages for the last few nights. I started on Tuesday. Oh my god, yeah, you're tearing through, Amy. Well, we're going to be here for um, some, some good chunky sprints, so hopefully that gives you plenty of time to continue to tear through. Six novels, then I need to work out what to read next. Reading The Stand by Stephen King, about 50 pages in. So many more to go. How many pages is that? He just writes such chunky books. Six novels, none submitted yet. <laughs> No one will know. No one will know. This is totally not live to loads of people. No one's going to know. Need to start my housework. Had a three hour exam. Oh, how did the exam go, Steph? They're very valid reasons. Very, very valid reasons. Evil spirit. Exactly. I am clearly haunted by this evil spirit. It will manipulate you into joining my team, um, watching my YouTube videos, liking my Instagram photos. <laughs> It's the evil content creation manipulation spirit. That's what it is. Set in Vietnam. Oh, awesome. Such a beautiful country. Whoa, it's chunky. It's really chunky. It's possible they recognize you, thought you looked like someone, and then realize you weren't that person. I feel like if you did that, that you wouldn't be pointing at someone, would you? Because, like, one, if you watch someone's content, you liked their content. And you would literally, I get it if you're like walking down the street in the opposite side of the street. But like, I was as close away from them, not as this is, but like, as that door, like, it was not a far distance. I don't think they recognise me. I think that I would like to tell myself that, so I don't think I've been cursed. Um, yeah. If I swap allegiances, I'll only have 13 snowballs, only one of my books is blue, none are polar, but by coincidence, they all had forward covers. Damn it. Damn it. I think you should need to, you need to paint some covers, okay? You need to paint some covers. I can't, um, oh, I actually thought that one was pretty good. I'm quite excited by that January one. That one, for me, was better than expected. Exactly. <laughs> Currently at the library getting schoolwork done and a virtual interview with less audio books. I hope it's going well. Good luck with the work. Oh, six snowballs. Feel a sat a different exam to everyone else. Oh, they said it was horrendous and didn't finish, but I thought it was okay and had time to check some answers. Maybe you're just more prepared. Glad it went well. Gonna read my 30 pages of the Count of Monte Cristo. Oh my god, Emily, you're still reading that. Are you enjoying? Order my India and then after I'll be starting a new book. Not entirely sure what it will be yet. <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. Just had to take a migraine tablet again. Oh, Pip. Gonna try have a little sleep to see if that helps as well. We'll join back sprints later. No worries. I hope your migraine goes. That has been battering you all week. I'm so sorry. I hope it goes away. Have some chill time. Right. Shall we do a sprint? I'm I've been very, very efficient and I've already got my timer up and everything. So boom. It's even wintry because you know it's got blue in it for, for Team Arctic Fox. E, E. Ah, oh, good. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Submitted 23 snowballs. About to start the ice garden. Do you know what? I have barely any wintry books on my shelves. I would like when I was trying to pull them off for this TVR, I was really struggling to think of what books I could include. So I feel like I've done well with the two that I am reading. I think. <laughs> next year. Okay, next year, the sexy Yeti team. I think the Arctic Fox team is where it's at. Yes, let's sprint. Um, right, we're going to do 50 minute sprints because that is what Jade was doing on Monday. And then I did it with my patrons on Tuesday. Hang on. <coughs> Sorry, I've had a throg in my throat all day. Um, and it actually, it works quite nicely. You usually do 45 minutes, but I feel like 50 minutes give you just enough time to piss about for five minutes at the start of the sprint and then get like 45 minutes of reading done. 
finding out my slumps and rolling with it. Yes, I love that for you. I feel like I am. I didn't feel like I was in a slump, but I felt like I wasn't enjoying what I was reading much. And I think House of Flame and Shadows kicked that. Although I kind of want to reread the Akatar series now, like just to have more Sarah J. Mass, because I'm not rereading House of Earth and Blood. Like I don't need to reread like that series again. And I'm not a big fan of the Throne Glass series, so I feel like Akatar is my next best bet to get myself some Sarah J. Mass ness. <laughs> Very creepy during a pandemic. Yeah, I bet. We also have no wintry books, but I still want to participate. So just don't get any polar fantasy snowballs, it's fine. Well, do you know what? Something might turn out to be polar. You know, you never know. If even it's not directly advertised as it, it might end up being. Um, have dinner and rejoin afterwards. No worries. I think I'll have dinner in the next sprint. Yeah, definitely, actually. I didn't realise what time it was. Um, right, I'm going to quickly film some stuff at the start of the sprint and then read. So I'm going to turn my camera off for a little bit and then I'll be back. Um, but I will see you guys in 50 minutes. Happy reading.
Hello. Hello to anyone that's joined us. Um, in the sprints there, how, how are we all getting on? I'm a little bit lost with this book. I'm 40 pages in. I'm reading it very slowly because it feels like it's a jigsaw puzzle that should be pieced together at this point to give me a basic understanding of what's happening and it just isn't. So I kind of need to know a little bit more. I like the writing style, but I don't really like what's happening in it at the moment. Um, so that's me. How's everyone else getting on? Um, hang on, where did I get up to in the comments? Oh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy my content. Lots of live streams, Patreon stuff, and reading books is what you can expect. <laughs> Thank you so much. Background seven, no worries, Josh. Enjoy your evening. We'll be continuing in Focus Crystals, personal guide. Nice, on 51%. Are you enjoying? Hello, welcome on in. Welcome on in. Just joined in the last few minutes. I'm not really participating in Poem but I'm reading A Time of Courage at the moment. Nice. Are you enjoying it? distracted scrolling on my phone do you know what? I definitely noticed I got more distracted in that sprint I had to do something on my phone at one point but I just noticed I've got more distracted than when I was reading on my kindle for anyone that was on sprints Monday and then Patreon sprints Tuesday I'm just reading so much better on my kindle at the moment and I have the new kindle over there that I haven't unboxed yet I've got one more pack of stickers to arrive before I do my little video decorating it and I'm just waiting desperately for that to happen 22 pages because I keep getting distracted 30 pages it's a bit slow but I'm loving it yeah it's definitely slow it's slow but beautiful but definitely slow hello Emma got home from work and managed 20 minutes of hell and death for three for a baby baby the 330 pages of the Golden Tower, only 20 left. Not fast read, but I am loving it. I don't know if I still own that book. I feel like I unhauled the... Oh no, I've got the Bear and the Nightingale. Is it a series? Why do I just have that one? I feel like I could unhaul that. I don't know why I just have that one. 13% read. One of my cats has joined me too. Bean! What's your cat called? I am on chapter 55 of House of Flame and Shadow and checking out what food to order. Ooh, what are you having? Read 20 pages and started dinner. Got to 7%. I'm really enjoying it. Yes. Got your workout done. Yes. Well done. Hi, Olivia. How are you doing? Work is finished. Yes. Now are painted and I had a hot Yeti shower. That is what we want to hear. Hot Yeti showers are the way forward. <laughs> I am reading Lisa Unger's Beautiful Lies. Are you enjoying it, Nina? Hi Rachel, just joined you in the last sprint. Welcome on in. Struggling to focus. Oh no, what are you reading? What's your current read? Eat a bowl of cereal. I'm gonna have dinner in the next sprint. So I am pretty hungry. I'm gonna have some kind of prawn pasta dish. I haven't really got much further than that. Read about 20 pages in Iron Flame. Very much loving it. Yay, reading so far, so I might actually try to finish it tonight. 20-ish pages left though, so not sure. 20 to 250-ish pages, not sure if I can. I mean I always feel like with any, I mean, I have read it as well, but like with any book like that, the last 100 to 200 pages are always the fastest because there's usually some kind of big build up. So you might be able to tear through it. Eight hours to go. My audio books are still a bit to go. Hello, Mila. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Read 50 pages. Should finish book in the next sprint. Yes. What are you going to be reading next? Loving it. Yay, I'm glad that you're enjoying five pages and doom scrolls. Damn the doom scrolling. It's so addictive. Joining, oh, ah, joining back into the walk. Yeah, I don't know how I'm still doing this. Do you want to see the stickers? Hang on, I'm going to get, I'll get the stickers and show you what I've got. Please hold. So, I'm still waiting on some more. Um, I really, really did not think I would be the kind of person to decorate my Kindle, but, oh, that's my address. Um, but here we are. Um, right, I'll show you these ones first. I don't 100% know if these are gonna be going on the Kindle or not, because I don't know if they're gonna be the right vibe, but, I've got all of these. There's there's quite a few, but just to give you an idea. 
I got all of these little terrariums. I just think they're so pretty. There's loads in here. Um, and then I also got a sheet of them as well. Hang on. Got a sheet of them too. So I'm excited about those. Um, those are the first ones that have been sat here for ages. Um, and then today my other ones arrived. Hang on. My pop socket arrived, which I'm very excited about. Here's my pop socket. This is all off Etsy. Um, and then I basically got a crap ton of like paper based stuff. So I've got all of these, which are like different maps and I scrapbook. So I'll use this outside of um, decorating the back of a Kindle case as well. And you can bet there's going to be a video for this too. I haven't actually opened these yet, but these I think are like little stamps, which I just thought were really cute for scrapbooking mainly, to be honest. I don't even know if I'll use these on the Kindle, but how cute. There's like loads of, ooh, those are different ones. Ooh. Oh, I love that. I, I really want a kind of foresty vibe. I'm going to set that one aside. Um, greeny foresty vibe because I've got the agave green Kindle. And then one I'm very excited about. Hang on. Oh my God, they're so small. <laughs> ah. There we go. Um, hang on. And then... These little ones, actually, do you know what? I'm not even going to open them. They are loads of quotes from books and films. No, I am going to open them because I really want to check because the reason I got these <laughs> is because I think that there's a Lord of the Rings one in, which is all we have to decide is what to do with the time that's given to us. And that is my favourite quote ever. And I saw it on the picture for them. So I'm really hoping that it does actually have that quote on it. I'm going to be really disappointed if it doesn't. Yes. Here we go. That's going on the back of the Kindle. I'm so excited. I just really want to decorate it now. Everything's here. I haven't got my Kindle Steve yet from Paper and Word, um, but I will get one very soon. Um, yeah, that's all of that. That's my little haul. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> 37 pages of Discovery of Witches. Not sure what Polathon is. Oh, um, Polathon is a readathon uh, created by Jade from JD Reads. Uh, we're raising money for Save the Polar Bears, which, by the way, is linked down below if anybody would like to uh, donate. Sorry, I'm sat on my cushion. Um, but it's basically a readathon that runs for a week where we're having a giant virtual snowball fight and reading books to hit prompts and beat each other at the snowball fight. Um, reach 52%. Nice. New here. Welcome on in, Alexandria. How are you doing? <gasps> Caught Wings and Ruin. That is my favourite of that series. Are you enjoying it? I, I really, really liked it. 92% into the Winter Garden. It's so good. Not sure what to read afterwards. What are the choices? Is it the same ones that you said about the other day? Probably think about food. I am not. I all joined in that sprint. Finished House of Flame and Shadow. Started Divine Rivals and I'm already loving it. I really like Divine Rivals. Made it page 371. Just over 100 pages left. And prepped dinner to cook in the next one. Nice. Ooh, nice. That'll be good. Currently reading Crescent City 1. Had the audio of Song of Wraiths and Ruin. You decided to unhold the bear and the nightingale. You have pretty original covers. I'd love to buy off of you. Um, I have the paperback one if that's the original cover I think it's the original cover um I'm pretty sure it is I probably would if I ever do it'll be on my vintage um which I'll post I can post into Patreon so you'll see it there yeah I think it might be the original I would get it but it's literally under a stack of books and then under a load of pop funkos read 28 pages need to get a blanket it's paperback though need to get a blanket in the next sprint there's so much snow in the book it's making me cold I've got my lovely blanket and the one on me is Spider, and he normally only comes for bedtime cuddles. Oh, the other is Pumpkin Soup. That's so cute. We continue, we're rising. Jade had Indian last night, people were talking about it tonight. Oh, hello, Rocket. how are you doing? Yes. Finished my previous book called The Islander by Catherine Cooper and picked up a book about running. Jog on. Forty years ago, I tried to get myself into running. Oh no! <laughs> Love the stickers. They're so cute, aren't they? Yes, Team Arctic Fox. I really like the pop socket. The island. Okay. 
uh, sticking them on the Kindle or just placing them. I think I'll just place them, I think, because I just it feels weird to me to do it at all. I don't like to do things like that normally. I like stickers in scrapbooks and stuff, but not on my tech. Um, so then if I don't like it, I can just take them off really easily and not have wasted them. Yeah. Um, multiple different shops. The These ones were from Wild Bird. And these ones, I don't actually think I have the shop name. I'm going to be honest, the ones, that, the, the other ones, the papery ones I showed you, I'm not like as blown away with those ones. I feel like they're essentially just someone printing them, which is fair enough because I didn't really expect much more. But um, I can't remember the shop name. Hang on. I don't even know where my phone is. I have no idea where my phone is. Oh, it's here. Um, let me tell you. I've also got some clear um tree-esque ones that are coming uh okay so the other ones are from dada's stickers d-a-d-a -D -A, and then stickers um and then the ones that haven't arrived yet are from b creative shop is in a buzzing bumblebee um oh okay winter promise the snow child city of stardust gun the tower spinning silver wolf of spell sky song shiver of snow frost fire an ember and the ice dragon, the eye of the north, and the darkest star. Um, I know that Lauren, I think, recommended even the darkest star last time, so maybe that. I'm reading the city of stardust. I don't know yet, but I recommend it though, and I haven't read any of the other ones. Clear case of my Kindle and some scrapbooking paper with different designs. Cut and size my Kindle case and added stickers to different papers. Oh, that's a good idea. That's smart. That's very smart. Loving it so far. I'm in a reading slump. Just picked it back up today. Lord of the Rings quotes are far classier than. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was that shut the fuck up and take the dog lasso around grandma's gangrene is it what that is that what that is i think that's probably what it is right i'm i must be right start a book two for polathon yay really liking mantas made of glass won't be able to sh able to forget it with Vinted because I live in France. Oh, oh, that's annoying. I do stick with Vinted when selling stuff like that because it does do good buyer protection, basically, if stuff ever gets lost. Um, I didn't realise it didn't work in France. I thought you could buy anywhere from it if you were happy to pay the shipping. Um, no, no, don't worry. I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> that's the kind of imagery you guys need in your head tonight um and especially the kind of imagery i need in my head when i'm about to go cook my dinner <laughs> um right i'm gonna go do that now um so we're gonna do another 50 minute sprint i think we might have a jade joining us in the next uh not sprint chat um so i'll see you guys in 50 minutes.
Hello. What's happening to my hair? I love having a fringe, but day two fringe is shit. Um, right, how did everyone get on? I made eight and tidied up from dinner. Um, I got the audio book for this so I could listen whilst I was doing that, because there's also a couple of bits I've got to do tomorrow, and I would rather just be able to listen to it. Uh, so according to that, I've got four hours and 37 minutes left, and I'm at chapter 11 nearly. Um, I just, it just doesn't really make sense to me what's going on. It feels like there's this world that it's trying to build, and I just don't really feel like I'm in it. I feel like I'm just watching on the side, like, who the hell are all these people and what's all of this? Bit in a way beyond the confusion I'm meant to feel. So in all honesty, I might just keep listening to the audiobook and maybe play a bit of my Switch or something because I just, I'm not vibing it. And I've read so much over the past few days that I would quite like to maybe just sit and listen to something whilst I play a game. So I think that's my plan. But how did everyone else get on? I've got a load of crap around me. Hang on. Um, right, where did I get up to? Hi, Charlotte. Ofsted week. Oh, have reading deadlines. What are you currently reading? Chapter 79, cook tea, just in the oven now. Stop for now, around another 7% in so I can eat dinner. Nice. Oh, Doom's called in that sprint. Read a bit, but mostly made Nate lunch. I've had also decided that sprint would be the perfect time to update the YouTube app. Oh, I hate it when it does that. And you're like, why is this happening? And then it's like, oh, I just I just chose to do an update without consent. <laughs> 32 pages of a time of courage and had some dinner. Finish my book 10 seconds before the sprint ended. Oh my God, that's such perfect timing. Did you like it, Emma? Just got home from work. I left 14 hours ago. That's a long, long day. Was it a good work day? Hello, hello. I'll go on in. Cooked and ate dinner in that one. I'm just cleaning the kitchen and qu quickly in the next one. Nice. Yeah, I managed to just about clean my kitchen before that time ended. So I'm happy with that. Oh, yeah. I'm glad that you liked it. One book three immediately. <laughs> the responsibilities I must do with for a few hours fair yeah I feel you I ate dinner rearranged my books a little I'm not wanting to do I'm not it's not that I'm not like it I'm just a bit lost with it at the moment I want to see where it progresses to I'm definitely someone that would dnf if I felt the need but I don't want to dnf this one at this point Got distracted by my phone, so now switched from laptop instead of the iPad and had a moment of post-exam panic. Oh no, well it's done, it's done. Red Zero, 36 pages of Powerless. Is this the same series that Steph was reading on Monday? Had dinner while watching Suits, talked to my boyfriend, did my bullet journal, and now getting cosy with a blanket, tea, and my book. Nice. Oh no, maybe the next ones, Carrie, maybe the next ones. <laughs> Didn't read, but made dinner, also watched an interview of Sarah J Mouse on the Kelly Clarkson show. I, yeah, it is weird when you see what's being interviewed like that, isn't it? That's kind of huge. I think that popped off my YouTube, I hadn't watched it yet, but she is the moment. Practice in Spanish on Duolingo, read another 20 pages. Joined in that sprint, but didn't read. Found my laptop, won't turn on. Oh no! In fact, two weeks repairs the same problem. Uh, I mean, it'll be under warranty, surely, from for that problem, right? I feel your pain. My Mac Studio, which is my big bulky unit, was at the Apple Store for a very big problem this week or last week, and um, yeah, I live in fear that it's going to happen again. I mean, it won't because they had to replace the entire logic board, but it's not nice, is it? Just joined at the end of that last sprint, read 10 pages of Frost Heart 2 and hoping to finish it soon. Yay. Let me try my first audiobook soon. Ooh. If you never listened to an audiobook, okay, you might like this then. I'm worried. I won't take anything in. I think it's all about picking the right book, picking the right narrator, and listening at the speed that works for you. Um, I personally have to be doing something whilst I'm listening, so I can't just sit. I can't really read along whilst I listen either. I have to be actively doing something to be able to listen and take it in like my best listening is when I'm driving or when I'm cleaning probably when I'm cleaning is the most um yeah that works just joined first need to do uni bits finish my book and put away grocery delivery go to the shop to get some dinner squeeze in a few more chapters nice what did you rate it in the end I 
would be intrigued does it pick up does it feel like it knits together a little bit more it's a good work day but traffic was a nightmare oh no both this morning and this afternoon that sucks yeah okay that makes it even longer then read 30 pages and i'm gonna make dinner it's a three star okay some things i liked and several things i found frustrating a manga in that sprint two more snowballs oh my god i forgot about manga for that i don't think i have anything snowy but I have Cat Gamer, which I really want to read, so I might do that at some point, maybe over the weekend. On the 50th pages of Iron Flame, very much want to try and finish it tonight now. Hello, really wanting to sleep, but that's going to fuck up for the night, so here for some reading company. We can keep you company, Strange the Dreamer. Ironically, you want to sleep and you're reading a book called Strange the Dreamer, but it's a great book. I loved that series so, so much. Goal is to reach part three. My lack of enjoyment in the second half is definitely because of the audio. Oh, I quite like the narrator, actually. I, I, I'm not disliking the narrator. It just feels so scattered. Did you find that? Just finished my first book for Polathon. How many snowballs did you get, Jinx? Got distracted by talking with my mum for the last hour and a half. That's fair. That's fair. Talking to your mum is a good excuse. <laughs> Currently rearranging my shelves and having regrets. Oh no, have you full on dedicated to it, Emily? I honestly don't think I've done a big rearrange since I moved here, other than like getting new shelves in my other room. In my lounge, they've just stayed the same. Spent that sprint tidying up and reorganizing my living room. Nice. Currently reading Affinity Alchemist by Case and Calendar for an Instagram tour. Nice. I hope you're enjoying it. Back, gonna cook dinner now. Hi, Josh. Just joined. Hi, Adelaide. Getting the cats settled on my lap and they're going to dive into Golden Kamui. That sounds like a good shout. Everyone's got cats on their laps. I'm a little bit jealous. Oh, that's not good. Fully charged drinks for on Tuesday. I've not used it since. I mean, they'll have to repair it again. Also, you've got consumer law for the first two years of owning something like that as well if it does break. That's shit. Halfway through my book, let's say 214 pages. You've got this. You will smash that tonight. There's Dordium and Cleaning. I do like match in matching game. <laughs> yeah, I hate doing anything but listening to audiobook when I'm cleaning. Like it just makes the cleaning go so much quicker if I have a good audiobook on. Just saw the sprint after devouring a study and drowning all in one sitting. Oh my gosh. That is a, that is a feat. Did you like it? Ate dinner and watched some TV with my family. Reading Frost Heart on my phone, wondering whether it would still count for Foil on the cover. The standard edition does what the CD but doesn't. Oh, God, yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, no, that's absolutely fine. I mean, Jade's pretty chill with the rules for it, so yeah, that would be fine. Oh. Feels so clipped. Yeah. Yeah, I can see what you mean. I'm going to rearrange my shells so I move at the end of the year. Oh, I mean... It would only take like a day and it would be really fun, maybe. I think it's fun. And then you kind of get stuck into it and you realise you're at the point of no return. I just don't even want to think of what it would be like when one day I move. It just doesn't, doesn't bode thinking about. Looks like chaos here and I have to finish, otherwise I'm sleeping in a chair. Oh God, you can do it, Emily. We, we got you. We'll motivate you. If you ever do a rearrange, I would watch so much. These kind of feeds scratch an itch for me. Honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to do a rearrange in here. I love the way it looks in here. The only thing is, I kind of regret getting white shelves because it doesn't really match anything in here. But I'm, I doubt I'll ever change it. Like, when I move, I will, but I have no plans to move at the moment. Yeah, it's all good. Jay told me yesterday that the fall on the cover thing still counts. Yeah, if it's an actual physical book that has fallen on the cover then you're all good. I mean, by extension, you could say if you're reading a paperback that used to be a hardback that had fallen on the cover, that could count too, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's chill. We're chill with the rules. Um, if you want to paint your books blue, I said on Monday, then you paint your books blue. It's all good. Just get those points. <laughs> I mean, mainly if you're Team Arctic Fox, get those points. But other one, other, everyone else, you have to be super strict with your rules. I'm being competitive about <laughs> I don't know how people have scored so many snowballs already. You guys are uh, very, very good with this. I'm going to try and read a good chunk of my book now. I'd probably play a bit of Zelda. So I will see you guys in 50 minutes.
Hello. Hello. Dramatic pause. How are you doing? I am doing well. How are you doing? I am also doing well, thank you. Did you have a splendid day? Um, yeah, my day has been an interesting one. I had a meeting this morning at work and then I had some API training, which was fun. Fun. That is always that. really fun. Yeah. Um, APIs have confused me for the longest time because whenever I've had a conversation about them and said, like, what is an API? People just go, oh, you know, just how they talk. Okay, and how do they talk? With an API. Okay, but but what's an API? <laughs> it's oh, that's been... fun. Do you know now? I feel like now I know. Today was <laughs> enlightening to me. Hey. And then we had the vets this evening with Finny Boy. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, he's good. We're just going through some like kind of training, socializing stuff with him and the vets because he doesn't like them. Oh, fair. We're I mean, who, who would? Yeah, we are, we are getting there. You. Good. Gavin's watch long. Bye. Have fun. Enjoy charm. How how has your day been? How are you doing? Yeah, my day's been pretty good. Um, busy, got lots of stuff done. Uh, been trying to edit my House of Flame and Shadow vlog when I've had opportunities to as well. It is long, but I've got like 20 minutes left to finish watching through. And then it's done. Um, I'm interested to know what you think of this book, because you're reading the same book as me. I am. What do you think of it? Um, I am 93 pages in. Okay. So I'm still fairly early. Mm -hmm. I am intrigued. Okay. And I like the like melancholy sort of tone that it's got. I don't know what's happening in it at all. It, I literally am not retaining it in the slightest. I'm finding it so boring. Like, I feel like it's so scattered. Like, you have no idea. Uh, to start with, I was like, this is you, you like the style of sea, right? Uh, it was all right. Yeah, it was pretty, but it was quite long and flowery in places. This is giving me, so far at least, style of sea vibes. Yeah, maybe that's right. I mean, I felt like at the start, I wasn't clear if it was a fantasy world that she knew about it being a fantasy world. Mm. or if it was a fantasy world where she didn't know there was a fantasy world to start very initially mm -hmm. but this whole obsession with her mum and like not giving us enough information about anything mm. I'm finding it really difficult How to actually are you? Uh, hang on a sec I just started listening to it instead um, in the hope that that might help a little bit um, so I've just started chapter 15 if that helps you Oh, I just happened to open it on chapter 15. I'm on chapter 18. Okay, so you're only a little bit further than me then. Yeah, page 106. I mean, I honestly don't even know what's happening. Literally don't have a clue. Couldn't even tell you vaguely what's happened. Yeah, my, my approach with it currently is I think it's going to be one of those books where not a lot makes sense until it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Then, with my brain being like, ooh, like Starla C. Starla C didn't make sense ever. So No. Yeah. I'll give it I'll give it a bit more of a chance. But yeah, I'm just but not I am really... enjoying the tone of it. It's very I can't think of a synonym for melancholy. But... Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. It is like I just I I feel like I'm missing something. It's just not I'm not, you know, when you just don't retain something, like, just not retaining it. I have no idea what's happening <laughs> at all. It's so disconnected in my brain. I find it really hard to pay attention to it. I think, I mean, I don't know what happens in the couple of chapters between where I am and where you are. Neither do I. <laughs> like, not, not a lot has happened. And I've very much been told that this is a book of very little plot, a lot of vibes. 
Uh, all vibes, no plot. Um, I did not know that. I I was aware of that. I have been told that it's very slow but atmospheric. Do you know, the, the downside of these beautiful editions that you get is they don't have reviews written on them. And I actually quite like it when a book has reviews written on it so I can oh, get what kind yeah. of a vibe it is. Because mm -hmm. actually, if there was a review here that said something... Am I just missing yeah, something? If, that... if there was something that said, like, akin to the style of C or something, you yeah. know what to expect, yeah. I think it helps to set expectations a little bit. Maybe I need to go back a little bit because it, it's just lost me at a certain point i'm just like yeah i don't care about any of the characters and i don't know what's happening <laughs> uh... well i wouldn't say i don't care about the characters i'm definitely curious about alexander yeah i want to yeah. know more about like where he came from and why he is in the situation that he is in do you know? What? I think that might be my issue. I don't. I literally don't care about any of the characters at all. And when I don't care, I'm not bothered by the book. Maybe I need and to go back. Therefore, you're probably because you're not bothered, especially if you're now listening. You're probably not paying as much attention as you would be if you did care. Yeah. So you're probably, probably. letting things. Slip. You know what? It sounds like you should just DNF it. No, nah, I won't DNF it because I just paid for the audiobook. Um, so I, I'm no, I don't want to wait. Are early enough to return the audiobook? I can't return stuff anymore. It stops me because I did it too much. Oh. <laughs> but I'll, I might just rewind. In fact, I have, I think I am just going to do that and go back a bit. I'm listening to it, but I just, I literally, I can't, I can't explain it. Some things just don't stick with me. Some certain books, they just become too chaotically like, ah, and it just doesn't click. Um, this I am nice. immersion reading this one. So, Wait, what's immersion know. reading? Uh, listening and reading along at the same time. Right. Okay. See, I can't do that. I get too distracted. <laughs> I get like my brain. Oh, immersion is reading is my favorite way to read. Really? Yeah. Huh. If I could it? get an audiobook of every book and do that, that's how I would opt to read all the time. Do you still read the words out in your head as you're reading them on the page, or do you just let the audiobook do that for you? I follow. I follow the the words at pace with. Yeah, so you're not thinking the words; you're just yeah. listening to the words. Yeah. Yeah. I can do it for about three or four pages, and then I end up getting distracted and realise I wasn't reading the words anymore, and I was just listening to them. I mean, still, like, you know, consuming the book, but differently. <laughs> I think I'm Jenny, slumped. Jenny's from... just called us both out. We're both calling the book the, the wrong name. <laughs> what are we calling it? We're calling it City of Starlight. It's not. It's City of Stardust. Oh, shit. Have we both done the same thing? Oops. Yeah, I've just changed mine. I just copied yours because I knew oh. we were reading the same book without, like, sense checking if you had actually called it the right thing. Lol. Dust. There we go. I've changed mine. That there we go. We're both right now. <laughs> Oops. Uh, <laughs> um, how did everyone get on there, by the way? I did not ask. Also, hello to everyone, because I've just popped up. Hi. <laughs> hello. Hi. 90 pages, made ramen. Everyone oh. anytime anyone says ramen, I just want ramen and I never ever cook myself ramen. It just it sounds so appealing though. Yeah, I, I agree, Alex. Slowing down a bit. Oh, no. There was a mention of snow. Does that mean it's part of fantasy? I mean, Jade? A brief display of ice magic. I mean, I, I would say if there is icy magic, then yes. Brief snow? No, because like it snows here, and we're not living a fucking pale fantasy. But ice magic, yeah. There we go. Can squeezy cheese? We use um, tin squeezy liver paste. Brim. Not so nice for a human. 
No, Finn <laughs> loves it though. It makes his farts smell rotten. <laughs> oh dear. Our dog guffs us all the time. It's gross. Oh, guff mm -hmm. is a horrible word. I don't know why I use that word. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, page six six six. The number of the devil. See, I'm 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 cursed. Oh, I'm cursed now, Jade, as well. Uh, so you've got a ghost, and I'm cursed. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've we've joined up in in forces. Maybe your ghost has come to curse me. What is your curse? What's um, well, I I think I said the other day as well. But I had somebody walk past me like doing this at me. Um, I was talking <laughs> on the phone and my, with my headphones in, so I think they might have thought I was like devilly i don't know but they did this looking at me they were looking at me doing this and then yesterday i was in a cafe and a couple started staring and pointing at me and going like this around themselves like around their neck and pointing at me um so i'm pretty sure that there's a dark spirit haunting me that certain people can see um and that and i yeah. people are just warding it off every time yeah. they see me yeah i'm pretty sure yeah <laughs> it was very weird <laughs> You need some protective energy in your home. Yeah, I need to light some sage and uh, just, I mean, I've got some incense sticks on the go. Near have you got any protective crystals you can surround yourself with? Uh, yeah, I literally have like six in front of me, so we're good. I've, I've got, you know, <laughs> I'll sprinkle the salt on the doorstep. <laughs> yeah. Look after oh. you. Remember to be clear when giving spirits instructions. Yeah. Let them know that they do not have permission to attach themselves to you. Um, okay, spirits, you don't have permission to attach yourself to me unless you're very attractive. <laughs> Actually, that would still be weird. It's a bit necrophilary. Probably not. <laughs> oh, dear. There's sunshine. You have sunshine. Take advantage of the sunshine. It has been raining non-stop here today. Yeah. <laughs> Light the stars see what wasn't killing the city of stardust. Okay, I'm glad that wasn't me, just me. I just don't get what's happening. I just don't get it. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind the writing either. <laughs> yay. Oh, wait, no, not yay. Sorry. Boo. <laughs> just a little plug to people submitting their snowballs if you're also maybe wanting to donate to the cause i'm going to be donating a pound for every snowball and if you want to do that too that would be pretty cool you broke up a sec you said if you want to donate to the cause and then your camera froze for a sec <gasps> no if you want to donate to the cause i'll be donating a pound for every snowball i collect and if you want to do that too That'd be pretty cool. It's linked down below. If you there's a there's a link to the Save the Polar Bears. Check it. Lauren, how have you found this pink? Where's this pink hand? Hi. Where's a pink hand emoji? Is that a YouTube specific emoji? I like it. Um, can't imagine either. Yeah, I I feel like it very much varies from book to book in terms of yeah. speed. But my immersion reading speed for City of Stardust is two point six. I get bored of doing it like that and I don't know why. It's like, it shouldn't bore me, should it? Because I'm just sat reading in the same way I would if I wasn't listening to it. But there's something, my eyes just stop reading it. I think they just start, they're looking at it instead of reading it when I do that. I don't really know. Okay, yeah. Do you like almost like disassociate from the fact that it's a book in front of you and you're just yeah, looking at it? Yeah, it's my eyes. Not... Yeah, 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 yeah. My okay. eyes are just resting on the book rather than actually I reading the book. See how that would happen. Yeah, it, I, I kind of. I mean, it I hear... doesn't. It doesn't happen for me. I find with immersion reading that I then take in what I'm reading better. Like I retain more when I immersion read. Hence, why it's my favorite way to read. Yeah. But I mean, everyone's brain works differently. So. Yeah. Well, I, I've learned... Also, ADHD brain versus non-ADHD brain, like, maybe my ability to focus on both at the same time differs from yeah. yours. I don't know. It's nice to do that. I would like to know, because it makes, in theory, it makes good logical... And I can do it a little bit, but, uh, yeah, I, mm -hmm. I just don't... I wouldn't be able to sit for a whole 45-minute sprint doing that. 
which it just doesn't. I which does doing it for like four hours quite happily. Yeah, but I'd happily sit and read for forty-five minutes, or I'd happily sit and listen to an audiobook whilst doing something else. So why can't I do them both? I don't know. I I think what I've learned is that my most intake, where I pay most attention, is Kindle, and then physical read, and then audiobook. I think depending on what I'm doing with the audiobook, actually, is. Mm -hmm. Well, I pet it like we said this uh, before you came on, but like cleaning for me is my ultimate audiobook activity because it's so boring and I, it's so routine that I don't have to pay attention to what I'm doing, so I can just really listen to the audiobook and then driving. See, I'm more of a See, music I'm... person when I am cleaning, depends on my mood. If I'm feeling a little low, the music helps, but generally, because it takes me about like two hours it's a good like chunk of time to be able to listen to something. Yeah. I think oh. walking the dog is probably my favorite, like just audio. See, I, that, when I walk, I can't listen to audio books. I get distracted again. I find myself, I'm not paying attention and I get too like interested in the environment around me to listen to what's being said in the audio book. There's only special, special circumstances I can really pay attention in, which I wish I wasn't like, I could pay attention when I was running, when I used to run, but not walking, which just makes no sense to me. <laughs> Being the same. You can't find me out for what? 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 I don't know. No this is true. Jade with no glasses. <laughs> I look like the devil. Thank you. You get a little pointy. Oh, that worked quite well. Go. Be gone, spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find this line. No worries. Hello, Bethifer. <laughs> Do you think there's still exes people performing exorcisms in the in England? Yeah, somewhere. Yeah. And I was trying to say the other day, weird topics of conversation. <laughs> oh, I missed I missed the sun. I, I'm glad I've got a sun tattooed on my body so I can carry it wherever I go, but it's not quite the same as the actual sun. So if that could come back, that would be great. I want it to either snow or be sunny. Just generally not rain, basically. I'm just sick of it. <laughs> I'm sick, yeah. I would like sun because I'm meant to be going for a good long walk on Saturday and that obviously isn't really going to happen if it is mm. snowy. Where are you going for a good long walk? Somewhere pretty? I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I was seeing a friend, but she's cancelled, so I, another friend is now free, and I said, shall we go for a walk? I haven't really decided where, but we normally, we go on Commute, which is a really good app for, like, finding new walk routes, and then just pick an area and go for that and find a good, like, four or five hour walk route around there. Nice. Yeah. We're going to see how the weather goes as to where we go because obviously some bits when they're muddy are just unpleasant. Um, oh, the pressure of this question. One thing I recommend taking as much money as you can because the ATMs are really difficult to get money out of. Unlike Vietnam. Vietnam, you could get money out of every ATM. South Korea, it was really hard to find one that would allow us to get money. So I would recommend taking as much cash as you can. They don't use card as much as you think they should over there. Um, and a Kindle <laughs> honestly I backpacked it so I had the bare minimum of stuff with me so I, I don't think there's much that is essential to take with you I would say oh there you go maybe you'll like this then mm. oh congrats Rachel that is terrifying um, congratulations that is terrifying I good mean, luck. I would be terrified. Yeah, good luck. You've got this. Still working on my first book. 400 pages. Oh, that's the four snowballs right there. I love this little pink hat. Is this a new thing? Paper Dragon. That's a good book title. Mm. Oh, there you go. Interesting. I found The Bright and the Pale really boring. In fact, I think the Polathon vlog where I read it, I titled the vlog The Bright and the Boring. Oh no, that's a good vlog name. I still have no idea what to title this vlog for. This is this vlog is like me being like, I haven't picked up my book yet, 
but here's this other stuff. I still haven't picked up my book yet, but let's go here. And now I'm like, oh, I picked up my book and I don't like it. <laughs> Honestly, I tell you, it's going to be thrilling. <laughs> Ear reading is the main thing over pairing my eye reading. I think it's the cause of AUDHD. Or DHD. Or DHD. Yeah, autism and ADHD. Oh, okay. I thought there it was like audio it. HD or something like <laughs> audio ADHD. Um, but yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. <laughs> it's through the waves, guys. Yes, maybe this is what I have the issue with when I'm sat reading. Whereas I can have quiet brain time and my brain can just take in the audio. God, I'd love to know what that feels like. You could just like quiet brain time. That's mad. That is mad. Interesting. Yeah, see, there are specific I feel like there's a right and a wrong time definitely for me. Listen in public transport. See, I don't think I could do that because I'd get too distracted by paying. Like, I like people watching on public transport too much. Let's do something else at the same time. Can't just sit there and listen to one. If, if I'm typing, I couldn't listen to one at work. If I was doing like a design task. Oh, yeah. Same. Quiet. If I'm yeah. doing a task that requires me to like comprehend words, mm. then I can't listen to an audiobook. Yeah, no, same. And yeah, my mind wanders too much. Okay, I'm glad it's not just me. You do, you look lovely. Thank Boom. you. I don't think I look any different than usual. Give <laughs> <laughs> better more than devil. Uh, they yeah. do books on the train. It's interesting, isn't it? How different people do it. But I have to... why do I? Have to... Why does everyone want snow? I hate snow. It's so inconvenient. It's a plan ruiner. Snow is how I see snow. You have lots of fun things planned, and then it snows, and you can't do any of them. Then you just rearrange your plans around the snow. But my plans Instead are made, of going for you know, my plans are made like months in advance. Like if I rearrange a plan, it's gonna be for like three months' time. It's just it's just annoying. And so many people die when it snows because it's dangerous. So there okay, you go. I can't argue with that one. <laughs> uh yeah, it's just grim. I needed to take the bin out earlier and I just didn't because it was raining. I just got lazy. Like when you live in a flat. Taking the bin out isn't as easy as just yeah. whipping it out the door. You've got to like hike to get to it, pretty much. Lug um, it all the way down to the bins. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't mind the atmosphere. Like right now, I couldn't give a crap if it was raining or not. So I don't mind now. But yeah, tomorrow mm. would be great if it wasn't. <laughs> oh my god, that is early. My friends are trying to like, book a nursery in like three years in advance now, which is just mad. Wow. Kids are your priority. Okay. Okay. Um. Good luck because there's so many cute things in Seoul that you'll just want to buy everything. Everything I bought was like going with one backpack and coming home with two. <laughs> yeah, just passed my twenty second snowball. Jesus, Alex, you want to wow. roll? Yeah, you Alex, can submit them whenever, right? Yeah, 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 whenever. Most of the books on the shelf now to sort through what I've taken off. Emily is um doing a big sort out and is needing to sort it out so that the room is actually accessible again <laughs> I can understand why that would be important yeah listening to an audio but while I pay my Tetris kind of mobile game yeah I, I love like if I was playing, yeah yeah if I was playing something like Tetris or Candy Crush is my go-to like mindless game that so that would help I, maybe I'd bug myself up by playing a bit of Zelda <laughs> I thought I could just go around and kill people, but you're paying yeah. too much attention to Zelda. Yeah, maybe I am. Enjoys <laughs> love snow making cancel plans. <laughs> Look, yeah, if it doesn't to... get planned, it doesn't happen. And you know, I started doing this like two years ago, and it's worked very well for me. Jade knows as soon as we're like saying goodbye to each other, it's like when, when should we see each other again? Yeah. Do you know what? It does. Sure, it's in the diary, and it keeps you seeing your friends, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Like it's because it, it, how many times do you say to people like, oh we'll have to arrange something, and then you just don't ever arrange something. Whereas we know we, we we're going to arrange it. Yeah. The minute we You're don't, the minute we forget. Calendar, to you are my birthday. It's birthday. 
And the minute we forget, if we ever forget to do that, you can bet that it'll be months and months before we're like, oh, we should put something in the calendar. Well, I hope so. Not. Well, no, I hope not to, but it's a good, it's a good <laughs> show. Some more time for reading. No, I want to go out for a walk. I really do. I don't like being in a weekend. I find it kind of boring. Listen to oh, yeah, I love like being in a weekend. That is my... Oh. You no, work I... know, all the time, yeah. so you're in a lot anyway. Yeah. Whereas yeah, I go to the office the three, maybe four times a week. Yeah, fair and enough. If I think I was in the office, I'd be happy to. Yeah, if I was in the office. But like, I know I'm going to spend all day reading on Sunday mm-hmm. and trying to get in my final thrilling reads. Um, but yeah, yeah, if I'm typing anything, yeah, I can't do it if I'm typing anything. Miss the snow? Oh, guys, madness. Move my hands. Yeah, maybe that's what it is with the cleaning and stuff as well. I think I could listen to an audiobook if I was crafting. Maybe I should do that. Because of this. Yeah, yeah. Just a nice summer's day for me. Like, not a heat wave, just a normal nice summer's day. The issue, I think the difference, the issue with snow is that it prevents driving on the roads if there's accidents and stuff and if people like need emergency services they literally cannot get to you that's where i hate the work i used to work for an emergency services so uh, we saw a lot of like disruption with that kind of weather and people just couldn't be got to that's where it's Mm. scarier but it's very pretty i do agree (laughs) oh guys you're making me want to like this kind of thing now but i just i don't it doesn't have to work for really. But it sounds nice. The immersion. Sounds good. You know, it sounds good. Should we give it a worse name? Yeah. Okay. I've lost the skill to speak English. I can't think of a single word. <laughs> Sick of snow, sadly. For me, I have more months left of snow. Oh, my God. Carrie, whereabouts are you based? you glad I only asked you to bring me back a photo card. Yeah, you definitely wouldn't have got much more. Most of my my gifts were, that were bigger were for Lauren, actually, because they were like boxes of things. Yeah, I just bought a lot of uh, different bits of art. <laughs> Going to England in August, September. Yay, going to have a backpack and a suitcase, and I'm still nervous. That'll be good. I mean, that's a nice time of year to come temperature-wise. You'll probably get like 20 get to 25. Yeah. I mean, August, September is our heat wave season normally like the last yeah. few years it's been nearly 40 oh, yeah, you know? with... yeah yeah true true because september warming treats you yeah september is getting hotter and hotter yeah. uh, how long are you planning to sprint tonight or are we done reading? oh we're definitely not done reading no no um i don't really know just keep going until we're bored basically huh uh, oh, ah, good for fiction podcasts and audiobooks are oh, Merge Mansion and Adventure Communist. <laughs> that sounds like an interesting okay. one. All, all I play on my phone is just Candy Crush or that two, 2048 or something. Do you have two oh, yeah. the boxes? But that's actually I really think... freaking frustrating. Complete it once. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, mm-hmm. see. This merge mansion thing, okay. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> yeah. Um, wait, tandem reading what? Trying to think of a worse word for imagine oh. reading. Um, I like reading that sounds pretty bad. I like that the next like... one, reading. Ear eye reading sounds like you're going to the doctors to get a test on ear eye reading. You know, like, oh, how's your ear eye reading? Yeah, I got a seven out of ten for it. (laughs) How about we call it eyes and ears and mouth and nose? (laughs) Shoulders, knees and tendons. (laughs) Oh, I hadn't thought about that song for years. Yeah, yeah, and then you kind of have to match your speed to the... Maybe the issue is that the pace in my head is never going to be exactly the pace of the narrator, so it's never quite a natural pace to read at. 
Like, whilst you can get it close, you're never going to be at the exact same pace yeah. and inflection and stuff. Oh, wow. Okay. I bet it's beautiful. Also, I feel like your houses are a bit more equipped to deal with it. As soon as it gets like that here, I just worry my roof's going to cave in, to be honest. Oh, God, no, don't worry. We're definitely not done with reading, guys. We're just having a little, we're a little chat break. Um, yeah. Never put our winter things away until after Victoria Day long weekend. Oh, series like gardenscapes with a shit oh yeah my mum still plays a game now that she played like six years ago some kind of farm simulator and she's like top level of it now it's like it's not farmville but it's something like that that she still plays to this day she loves it Gardenscape. i'm just remembering gardenscapes and homescapes and yeah yeah it's Isn't definitely it not summer? definitely not autumn so much used to get for Katie Christian. Yeah. Yeah, doing good. Thank you, Michelle. How are you doing? Weirding. That's quite a good one. Here's the nose and throat doctor. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They never oh my god. We'd we'd have a snow day off wow. for like three inches of snow, I think. Good. Township township. Yeah, township. This is Finn. He is my Shiba Inu. He's a good boy. He's <laughs> Um, Right. I don't know when to rewind this audiobook to. I, I would say know. when do you feel like you lost it, but I think that might be the beginning. So. <laughs> yeah, Oh, it's really disheartening when you can see where you're at and then you have to rewind it. I'll have a skim and see. <laughs> Never had a snow day. Oh. I definitely had a good fair few snow days. I think the best snow days were when it snowed whilst you were in school to get the snow day. So you were already with all your friends and then you could just go yeah. straight out to like the, the parks and stuff. Those yeah. were the best ones. Like, I remember having a great snowball fight in the middle of a park that just, yeah, it was great. <laughs> He's gone back to his rug. He's left me with his fish. <laughs> uh, Jade, have you read Doomsday with my dog? I haven't read it, but I do own it. It is on the shelf. He's a cat. I think my dog does the same. Yep. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. That was so dramatic. Like when we were all expecting that to come in, that was like so intensely like the beast from the east. I can't. When was it? I can't remember whether I was living here or back at my family home. Just wondering that myself. Because I'm not so bad when I'm here. Because I'm top floor, I don't feel quite as isolated if something happens here. I can climb down my balcony. <laughs> Never going to, but, you know, I could. The option's there should you need it. Okay, I was back with my family. Okay, I wasn't here. Um, I think it's only rained once I've been here. Once since I've been here. It's only rained once since you've oh, lived snow. here. Oh, snow. Snowed. <laughs> yes, I live in this anti-rain bubble. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, right. Let's sprint. I'm going to figure out where I'm at with this book. <laughs> and maybe play something a little bit more mindful than Zelda. I don't know what that would be, but... I'm gonna give it a go. I feel like Animal Crossing is a good like audio book. It would be if I hadn't just kind of I'm a bit done with that now. I don't think I have anything else to do on it. That it's just That's I play it for just go fishing. Yeah. It's a bit boring though, isn't it? At that point. I don't know. I'm kind of exhausted it. I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Have you ever played Cozy Grove? Oh yeah, Cozy Grove's kind of mine mine. Although it's a bit like you play it for about 20 minutes and then you've done everything really isn't it mm, yeah you will have done your daily tasks yeah the... that and spirit fair like they're nice but they're i have a very specific taste in what games i like and a lot of them miss for me like i'm either a zelda pokemon kind of person or i'm a call of duty 
killing people by shooting them square in the face kind of person. Um, I would love to play The Sims right now, but that will kill my computer that I'm currently streaming off of. Um, so it's going to be... Oh, wait, my studio is back up and running. <gasps> I could play The Sims. Okay, maybe The Sims. <laughs> your studio is back up and running? Oh, the Mac... Sorry, I don't know why I made us tiny. We're still talking, aren't we? Um, my main Mac computer that I use for everything, like my big unit is called the Mac Studio. And it, um, a week ago, I did an update and it just never turned back on. And I've only had it for like a year and a bit. In London. Oh yeah, so I it, it ended up needing a whole new logic board, um, which would have cost me nine hundred pounds. But I managed to get it under consumer law. My God, I am so glad <laughs> because, uh, um, but it was it had to go to the Apple doctor for a week, which was really annoying because it's the computer that I do everything on. <laughs> so I was doing my laptops a bit. Um, clinging on for dear life so I was doing everything on my laptop instead and uh, it's not the best um oh yeah Gavin talks about this a lot doesn't he oh, God. is that a phone I don't know if that's as fu like I'll just clean my actual car Jake Jake has well he had for a little while power washing simulator on his computer yeah unpacking looks cute although I feel like unpacking is a bit overpriced I, I remember watching you. Um, Unpacking was cute, but yeah, yeah, it's not. It's for what you pay. You don't get a lot from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, we're doing more sprints. We're doing them right now. We're just nattering. Um, look, there you go. Committed. Let's do it. No. <laughs> Nine minutes and fifty-seven seconds.
sorry. I would love to not be wearing my headphones right now. Hello. Oh. You are muted, my dear. Just mute me when I clicked on mute. Did I like shortcut it by accident? Is it? Is I it don't know. Back? You're good now. Though. You're back. Good. That was weird. Um, hi. I ended up playing Tetris whilst listening to more of the audiobook. Um, but Tetris was annoying me. Fair enough. How it's far like, into the audio did you get? Um, up to chapter twenty-two now. <gasps> okay, I've overtaken you. Where are you? I'm on chapter twenty-five. What speed are you listening at? Uh, 2.7. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm falling a little bit more now, but I just... Uh, it just it just seems a little bit like randomly jumping in time as well. Mm -hmm. Like, there was, there was a mention of something taking a year, and then she's suddenly like, oh, I've got, like, a couple of weeks left or something. I'm like, what? what? <laughs> like, where'd that whole other period of time go? It just seems it like was it. kind of glossed over in a montage style, but yeah, it's evident that nothing important happened in that time. And the reason she's picked yeah. up that bit later on is because something important's about to happen. Yeah, but yeah, it's okay. I'm not really that bothered by it, but I'm sure I'll finish it today or tomorrow. Well, tomorrow probably. Um, but yeah, I'm okay. actually really enjoying it. I'm glad you are. I just. I think maybe it wasn't the right thing. Like, I'm still in such an epic brain mood from House of Flame and Shadow that I think it's that kind of sacrificial book that anything I read after that is just going to be it's like, be bad. yeah, it, yeah, rip to the book gods because that book was just so epic that yeah. I just I can't cope with anything that isn't now. <laughs> yeah, I will say I can understand how this would be a very much hit or miss sort of thing yeah like, for example you say in the time jumps and stuff i get why that would be annoying yeah I, I, I don't need to be for so long it feels like so little is happening and yeah every character is so like elusive yeah every like i still don't know anything but i think the intrigue and the vibe and Do you know what I, I think? Before, the like melancholy tone and atmosphere is just hitting me right. What I think I don't quite. What maybe what I'm not quite on board with is the whole plot. For anyone who's not aware of this, the whole kind of plot centers around this girl trying to find her mum who's been missing for years, and there's kind of some other stuff going on as well. But she's kind of being forced to look for her at the same time as wanting to look for her, in a way. But like I just we never see her with her mum. We never see that interaction at the start of the book. So I don't really see, I, I'm not being shown that she has a relationship with her mum that we want to find out about and stuff. So I don't really care. Like there's no investment in her finding her mum for me. Like I, I don't feel like the relationship with her mum would be a good thing anyway. I don't think she's... No her mum out of want to search no this is what it, it kind of read more like of a, it was going to be have, that I have no choice but to find her now yeah I feel like the blurb made it sound like it was going to be a bit different I don't know why I was excited about this book I got an arc for this and everything like I was proper excited for it um how did everyone do by the way frozen 2 hello Reading Kingdom of Souls and Shadows by Leslie O'Sullivan. Listening to Blocked by Jamie Davenport. The blurb actually says a lot more than I thought. It yeah, it, it, it makes me wonder me. why I was excited about it. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, it tells you there's good. a curse. It tells you there's clearly some sort of immortal sick, twisted motherfucker after her. Yeah. 
I feel like maybe it reads a bit YA to me, and that's probably why I'm not getting on with it as well. It's kind of feels a, it's a bit new adult, really, rather than adult, isn't it? I think because she's 22, right? I think. I think she's 22. She was 12 and then it was 10 years later. And then a year later. Yeah. So, okay, yeah, so she's either 22 or 23 yeah. approaching. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know. Also, bye, Bethany. Thank you for coming. You're probably already gone. <laughs> I very much enjoy the leather pants episode of Friends. That that is one of the ones that just makes me laugh. Oh wait, another 10 second finish. That is pretty good. Quick shower, 28 pages of Time of Courage. 28 pages, two thirds of the way through Saga Volume 10. Oh, that's exciting. Alicia's really making me want to read that book. <laughs> that's the goal, I think. Mm -hmm. Chapter 57. Did no reading, brain is tired. That's fair. Called your mum for a chat, some toast, play games on your phone. Good. Chose Sunshine. I think that's the best option. Hacked away at Black, Free Thorns for 45 minutes. That just sounds like a nice, very cottage gory way to spend your day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying. Nice. Lots of polar. Reads being read. That's what we like to see. We like to see it. We love to see it. No, don't worry, got it, Cap. City of Star just too. I must read it someday. Yeah, do I mean it's polar, kind of. Is it? Well I am it, it, doubting that more and more. Yeah, there was I've I've said that. There was like a bit where there was snow. <laughs> But yeah. do you know what's very exciting about my audiobook? I mean, I know I'm now listening to this as an audio, but before I listen to this, this had an actual arctic fox in it i feel like i should get a bonus point for that but you know it just was there and i was i was driving whilst i was listening to it i was like there's an arctic fox in my book <laughs> it's you <laughs> uh yeah it does yeah it it kind of looks ya i would say like if i just held that up you'd kind of probably guess it was ya wouldn't you but that's not the that's the fairy loop cover and yeah, fairy loop everything looks ya that's the actual cover which is very starless sea and i am getting starless sea vibes massively I mean, it was a very starless sea cover I've never actually flipped the fairy loop ones, but I think once I finish reading it, I might flip it to this one. Yeah. I think I prefer the vibe that this one gives off as opposed to the snowy one. The snowy one does look like a YA book cover, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I think Fairly for me... Do that with all of their alternate covers, though. They make everything look more... Well, I, in my opinion, I know this is, li this is literally just my brain. When you have character art like this in a book, mm. it, for me seems more YA. -y. I don't know why. I have no idea why. Probably because I, of I agree. Book. And I think yeah. that's a very loot thing. Yeah, I think or just generally book boxes, I think it comes across to me. Yeah. I do, I only say fairy loot that's the only one I subscribe to. But yeah, I think you're right. They yeah. do it. It's not like not in a bad way or anything. Just like it just is what I associate with YA probably because all the book boxes started as YA. Mm -hmm. So if it has character art. I think YA because I'm trying to think if there's any adult books that have the character art on it. Like that's just a general book, a published book, not a book box. I'm trying to think of any character art is on like like that's not romance. Did the standard edition of Amina have it, or is it just the maps? Amina. Amina, uh, the Adventures of Amina Al Sarafi. Oh, I can't think what that looks like. I don't know. My my favourite type of covers are the reverse one of this. I like this a lot. Like that I always would reach for on a bookshelf. I like patterns and prettiness over people. It's just maps. It doesn't have people. Whereas the fairy loot one added a person. The normal one doesn't have the person. It's just the map. You've got teal hair. Uh, no. no. Oh. 
I was about to say I really like her hair colour. <laughs> Very good book. Is it? Yeah. I uh, what should I get up to in the cover? In the cover, this book. What book is it? Oh, uh, the book with the Arctic Fox is A Haunting in the Arctic. It's a really pretty cover. Really like the cover of that. Uh, by CJ Cook. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think maybe go into it with that expectations. Um, it has foil end papers. The City of Stardust has foiled end paper. Does it? In which edition? I am not seeing foiled end papers on this one. No, uh, it doesn't. Well, it's got the beautiful foil font. The font is very distinctive. And then the it's naked cool. hardcover obviously has the foil. Oh, yeah. The naked hardcover is very pretty. The standard one does? Oh. Wow. Wow. Did you leave your sprints a long time due to different work schedules? Yay! Doing good, thank you. How are you? No, not middle grade away. It started off um, following her as a child, so I was kind of a little bit like, where are we going with this? And then she ages up. Um, Basically, if it comes in the Fairy Loot adult box, it's slightly older young adult is what I'm gathering from most of the books that I've read from that. I think that new adult is kind of doesn't get as much like genre definition. Like, you know, you have a clear divide of young adult and adult, but then new adult, which in my head, new adult for me is like university age or like 18 to like 23-ish maybe. Like when you're, you know, that kind of... I think of... it's difficult to determine that because yeah, age category for the book does not correlate to age of character. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Then how does it come? Like, where do you mark it? Like, where does it come in? Like, who sits there and thinks this? I, I, don't know. I can't remember. Um, was it Iron Widow? There was one of those books where the author, I swear they said that they wrote it as just a fantasy and then they got told to make their main character like 16 or something so that it would fit into the YA genre but actually i think i think there's two different types of ya there's ya where the characters are younger and that's you just don't even notice it and it reads like you know any book would and then there's ya that is centric around the characters ages like mm -hmm. holly jackson books they're at school it's relevant that they're teenagers yeah. Yeah. whereas the i can't think of anything that's not i was gonna say the bone season but she's not a teenager um i can't Six think of anything of those, i think is a good example yeah yeah Young, it doesn't matter the age of the characters or the fact that it's that audience. It just they're just going on an adventure. You could age them up to forty, and it would not make much of a difference to the story. Yeah. Whereas yeah. you couldn't do that to a Good Girl's Guide to Murder or um, the yeah. Hunger Games. <laughs> yeah, thirty-five pages into City of Stardust, hate Stardust season. I'm considering doing nothing. Oh no! I mean, see where it goes. You might like it. Okay. If if the end of this book ends up with our main character in any sort of similar situation to the way that the Star Wars Sea ends, I'm gonna be I can't wrong. remember how the Star Wars Sea ended. I remember how it started. Common character on the US fantasy books. Oh, does Brandon... I mean, I guess, yeah, the Sarah J Mass ones. Actually, the UK Sarah J Mass ones as well have people on them, don't they? But I've got the US hardbacks and they're all very much around selena's character on the throne of glass ones mm -hmm. i if i'm gonna have a person on the front i like a suggestive sketch like something like the poppy war works quite well for me yeah. like you know it's quite a nice sketchy style um mm -hmm. or something like cersei where there's it's kind of like the american cover of that it's like a face but it isn't a face. like you know something where you don't need to put too much characteristics on what they look like and you can still imagine it yourself yeah I there's some really good ones I've got a Bryce and Hunt one up in my office that I really like I think it, it must have been either a fairy loot or an Uluba crate box years ago and there was I remember um really liking one of Henry and Addy um in a library or something. I really like that as well. I think when it's the characters you really love 
and it's done in the perfect way. But it's so difficult because you're going to imagine a character in your head. And then when you like, I've them, got some character art of Kel and Lila. Yeah. That I love. Yeah. It is so weird though. Yeah, when you've got a character that you've seen in your head and then suddenly it's like, this is what we've drawn them like. And you're like, oh, because <laughs> it's always, always different. Yeah. Yeah. Standard one. Depends on the art style. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot of old, old fantasy. Oh, let's have a look. They're the end papers. That, come on, don't Oh, lie. I returned that. Damn. Yeah, I returned it because it's I knew... really not it. picking it up, obviously, because of the glare, but, like, so many gold stars and dots. And stuff. Hello. Hi. I feel like this reversible idea that Fairy Loot are doing, because they've done it a couple of times now, is kind of the best of both worlds, because you get the unique cover, and then you get kind of the original cover as well, if you want to flip it back around. Come back. Come and love me. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Oh, Booktopia sounds great. What is Booktopia? Uh, need new adults to become a proper thing. Yeah, right now YA is being catered to adults wanting new adult, leaving nothing. Publish with teens in mind. Yeah, anyone can read YA, but it needs to be published with teens in mind, not adults wanting new adult. Yeah. Yeah. Publishers want the characters to be aged for the reader. Well... Yeah, but then his type materials, Lila is... Wait, is that what she's called? Lyra. Lyra is a child in those. So... Oh, wait, that's what you mean. <laughs> You're using Philip Pullman against the example, I see. Um, I... I mean, didn't we talk about this the other day with, like, the um, Robin Hobb ones? You know, that's a child mm -hmm. main character, and yet yeah, it's an adult book series. I think it depends on the way it's written, doesn't it? Like, there's a distinct style. Like, you open a middle grade, and you know you're reading a middle grade. You open a YA, and you probably know you're reading a YA. And also, font size <laughs> makes you an indication of it, too. Oh, do it, Kayla. What will it be? What would your first pick be? Vintage fantasy had people, they're usually heavily muscled or big bust. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of bit more than Boone style. Ooh. Okay, that sounds good. Hmm. Okay, the regular cover for a fragile enchantment. Oh, I haven't seen that. Bought with fairy additional vintage. Oh, I haven't seen. Uh, what's the regular one? Hang on. Is it much different? I don't know, but I do not like the fairy cover for that. I don't. I can't. Is this the latest? Hang on, a fragile. Is this one with the two women on it? I mean, a woman. Is it two women? What's the original cover of that? Is it much different? I don't know. Isn't it just the same? But oh, there's two different ones. Hang on. There's this one, and then there's that one, which is not the fairy loot one, but that's like the same art. I hate them both. Colorings. I just don't read romancey kind of books. What's so the I think... flipped fairy loot one of that then? Uh, it's pink. Oh, on the flip of the dust jacket. Yeah. Can't think. Oh. <laughs> How do you transfer data to your new phone? Um, oh, shit. I can't remember. Um, oh, I can't remember. I always pick the wrong one because one of them takes you ages to get started. I actually can't remember the option. Lauren, can you remember? Lauren's here. She'll remember. I think you go for The Last Bear by Hannah Gold. It's a middle grade polar fantasy. Yes, do it. Do it, do I it, do don't it. don't know if it's fantasy. Oh. It's middle grade polar, definitely. And I think you should read it. But I don't think there's much fan. Just to expectations, you know. I don't think it's fantasy. But then I think with Philip Pullman, it depends on the reader at a younger age because... It is written in a more detailed way. Like, there's a lot more world building and stuff in it. So, I think it depends on the reader. Flipped is similar to the first one. Oh, um, that one. Great. There you go. That's what flipped is like. Yay. I, I like her hair. Hair. I'll have her hair on me, please. <laughs> I could agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, second. One is going to hate, I don't like the other option. It's better than the first. 
<laughs> I think it's Clyde Cloud. I honestly can't remember. Naked hardcovers. I don't think you can really go wrong with a beautiful full naked hardcover. Like it's unless it's, it's character art in a foiled outline style, then I don't like it. Is that a thing? Yes, fairly late. I've done it a few times. Oh, I love I as soon as there's foil, I love it. It loves me a foil. I, I like foil over um what's it called when it's not foil, but it's like printed on like emboss. It, maybe it's like a like the whole picture is just printed around oh, on the actual. printed on it. I yeah. don't know what that's called, just a printed. Give me give me a naked foil hardcover and I'm a happy lady. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go, iCloud. Uh uh. I mean, either one's going to work. One's just going to take you a bit longer. I would give it a quick Google, possibly. Sorry, I'm really pants at helping with that. I should know, but I don't. Uh, it's giving curse of saints. I I, I don't remember. What, I, don't I know threw my jacket for that out. So it was it's awful. okay. I just enjoy many beautiful books. I've started facing some out with spreads outwards if they've got really pretty sprayed edges. I mean, I it's mental what spreads. sprayed edges do now. Give me all the spreads. I love it. I love the spreads. I mean, do you think did book boxes start that and then Waterstones cottoned on? Do you think because they're bloody everywhere now? Like any book, you're like spread edges here, spread edges here. I just don't know which ones I to pick anymore. Think so, like it started out as a special I mean, edition thing, and it it definitely means that special editions don't feel as special anymore, and expectations yeah. are way up. Yeah. Sure what else realistically special editions can do to be more special? No, I guess they but, just have to be all different from each other. So you pick your favorite. But like, I mean, that, how does that even happen? Like, that is so intricately done. Like, precious. It's just good. It's just good. Yeah. Deckled edges. I haven't seen a deckled edge in a long old time. I hate deckled edges. Oh my god. I used to like them, yeah. but I can't remember the last time I actually saw a deckled edge in a new book. I I just can't stand reading them. I find it difficult to turn the page because you can't get it. Because did not know Amazon had sprayed edges. Oh. I um, returned my special edition of Fourth Wing to Waterstones and I saw it go up on their Instagram and they were literally like, we've just got one special edition of Fourth Wing back in stock, like signed spray pages, first come, first serve. And then like a minute later, they were like, it's been sold. <laughs> like, Jesus, wow. I probably could have sold it myself for more. <laughs> but I, uh, probably having not done. really enjoyed Iron Flame, I felt I didn't need the special editions of it. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got standard editions of those, but I don't know if I'm gonna like them. So. The first one is really fun. Feel so betrayed if there was no escape from the character art. God, it's just oh, just please let me imagine the characters myself. Yeah, I can't think of characters that make you happy. Yeah, but I I like I like imagining the characters myself. I like it when it's just left open for interpretation. I think the prettiest. <laughs> What, what Egg said he doesn't like that character. <laughs> What's the purple one? Oh god, it was naked. I think it was a Luma crate. I don't even know where it is. It's like just it was completely naked. It never had a cover on it or anything. Like the villain with a load of superpowers. Good for you, honey. <laughs> purple naked. Like, it never had a cover. It was like, is it Taharamafi or something? Um I can't see it in here, which makes me think it's not in this room. I've never been subscribed to Aluma Crate, so I, I don't know if it came from there. That was very, very pretty. I'm so kicking myself that I never got the Fairy Loot Crescent City. They're so, so pretty. Like, I literally, mm -hmm. that was at the point where I couldn't even use money because I was so overdrawn that I couldn't actually spend money. So I was just literally like watching them go from afar, like, I want you. <laughs> yeah. And then I tried to win them at Yauk. It did not work. <laughs> no. That's so friggin' pretty. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Have you seen that one, Jade? I don't think I have. 
Um, it's just I think because Not it just came naked. Dishes, anyway. It I, that was just that was just pretty. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Oof. Let's see what we. Yeah, I same to be honest. Swim King Zoo, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm never going to buy them at the price people sell them for secondhand. I'm okay accepting that I don't have them. I just feel a little bit sad. <laughs> so I'm really not okay with it. Anyway, um, shall we read? <laughs> yes, I need a wee. Cool, good, thank you. <laughs> Are we coming with you? Um, you can't come with me. You're, you're plugged in. <laughs> I don't think linked to blocks, but I think you can't put links in unless you're um, mod, I think, on YouTube when you're on a live. I think so. Yeah. Um, I don't know how else to get a link. DM? DM? I can paste a link in. I assume Jade can post a link in. Can you post a link in? If I'm a mod. <laughs> um, or DM. It's all good. Send it. Whatever it is. What is it? What is it? It could be something weird. It could be sorted. Maybe don't. <laughs> yeah, send it. Inappropriate. Um, need the spanner of power. This Basically. is why when it comes to my Patreon sprints, everyone's a mod. Oh, I just made, like, about a year ago, I just made everybody that was on one Patreon live stream, stream a mod. So, like, just a random scattering of my Patreons are all mods. There's, like, probably about 40 of them that have spanners. So I just, I just kept it as that. I don't know why I did it. I think we were all sharing links to something. I was like, sod it, you can all have the spanner. Um, That's why I did it. I was like, I'm sick of people not being able to share links and yeah I, exactly I mean, you guys are wanting to chat about something and share a link like yeah. if you're all mods you can do what you want <laughs> yep and when it's right. patreon that doesn't matter so much because it's a yeah exactly i mean i've got it on public i just i probably should sort through it at some point but i don't really care <laughs> <laughs> um we'll not talk to you any longer by making you wait to pee, but I mean, kind of, it is a fun game though isn't it to make you wait um jade could you just describe to me uh, your favorite book series and why you think everyone should read it please a chorus of dragons because dragons and what are dragons <clears throat> you mean in the mythological sense or in the sense <laughs> of a chorus of dragons because I just chorus like you know like a trickling waterfall of a dragon with water dripping down well one of the dragons in chorus of dragons lives under a lake so that is the dragon I'm thinking of right now yeah there we go yeah does that make you need to pee more or less <laughs> um I'm I actually now need to pee as well yeah You've buggered yourself. <laughs> yeah, all right. We'll see you guys in 50 minutes.
Yo. Hello. I look like a Victorian child, but I got ready for bed. Makes a change from you saying that I look like a Victorian child. <laughs> Do you normally think you look like a Victorian child? On Monday, you told me that I look like a Victorian oh, child. You, had, you know why. It was because you'd pulled your hair up and half of it had stayed down and it looked like it was a bit... I mean, this is why I don't wear my hair up. You know I said I look like a baked bean? This is it. I don't think you do, but... I do. But now I don't look like a baked bean. <laughs> I look like a broad bean or like a... A broad bean? <laughs> messy bean, like a broccoli. Um, not that I know that's not a bean. I know broccoli isn't a bean. I was just thinking of green vegetables. I reached um, part something or other, maybe part three. Is it? Is okay, that uh, I'll be totally honest with you. I didn't do anything in that sprint. I went and sat there and shut my eyes. Oh my God. I will join you in the sleepy feeling because I stayed up very late last night. Um, entirely my own fault. And I'm so tired. I don't do well with late, but my friend was over and we found our old yearbook from school. And we decided we would go through the yearbook and go through every single person in the yearbook and find out what they were doing now. It was such a like guilty pleasure way of spending because like we knew what a lot of people were doing now, but like we were like, what? Who the hell are they? Like, didn't know they exist. Yeah. So that was, um, but it, it, yeah, it was like two thirty, and he was like, "I better leave now," and I was like, "Oh, shit, <laughs> <laughs> that's a late one." We both have work in the morning. Um, mm-hmm. It's a late one, generally. We stayed up late chatting on Monday as well, didn't we? Yeah, yeah we did. Chapter four. I feel like we've all read ourselves out. Oh, I feel like 10 finished it nice. I thought that said the heart frogger and thought that sounded really cute. 60 pages, 40 more until you reach your goal. Finish my book. The Winter of the Witch, but the people in my house kept talking to me. That's so rude. I hate when people talk to me. That's just rude. It's just rude. 30 pages of Starless Sea. Nice. Um, we will not do another sprint because I will fall asleep. And then you'll just I be did fall asleep. So yeah, you you guys will be yelling at me through the uh through the screen. 57 pages. Jade, you must have some. Oh, so many. Um, North Child, Anya and the Dragon, Republic of Birds, um, Eye of the North, Polar Bear Explorers Club and that entire series, um, the Winter House series, um, House with Chicken Legs, The Girl Who Speaks Bear, Ember and the Ice Dragons, um, Sky Song, Frost Fire, um... That's quite Something. a lot. <laughs> that was a lot. 25 pages more, took a walk. Essie, I always forget you're behind time-wise, and I'm like, why are you walking at this time of night? And then I remember that this you are not. This is not a safe time to be walking. <laughs> You are not in this continent. Um, still going. No sleep until I finished. For me, you guys can sleep. Alicia, text us when you're done so we can go to bed. Thanks for the permission. <laughs> 41 pages. Curl up in bed with a cat. Everybody has a cat. Everybody has a cat on them today. You're welcome. I it's not, it's not cat today. Oh, oh, I'm on my laptop, so wait, let me do it. Oh. Yeah, I can't do. I don't have it. Thank you. That's appreciated. Um, sorry, this is probably a bad time to join because we're just finishing. <laughs> um, but are there sprints tomorrow, Jade? I assume. Yes, there are going to be sprints on my channel tomorrow. They are starting early and they are going long. I will be joining at some point after my physiotherapy yeah. appointment for yeah. me old knee. Beautiful. Yeah, I am hoping to start when I finish work and I finish work at 12 tomorrow Gel, how can you finish work at 12? because I book the afternoon off oh okay good good reasoning yeah. okay um, and I work from home on Fridays anyway so I'll be working from home in the morning and then I'll literally shut my laptop straight on sprints nice. um, I'll, so- 
hopefully 12 o'clock and I'm hoping to go long. How long? I would, I want to do a 12 hour shift and go till 12. Solid. But if I feel like this at this time, like I don't think I would have another couple hours in me. Fair, fair. <laughs> Are there sprints at the weekend? Yes, there will be. Steph is hosting on Saturday, I do believe. That's what she said. I don't think she scheduled them yet. And I can host on Sunday unless you want to. I don't really care. I'm, I'm free on Sunday as well. Um, mm-hmm. We can chat. We can chat. Uh, yeah, I'll join from 3.30 tomorrow. Um, check Jade's Instagram for the link, I suppose. Or obviously follow Jade on YouTube as well. That would probably Yeah, or, or my help. actual YouTube channel. Might be yeah, that would probably be the best place to, to find the link for the YouTube stream. <laughs> yeah, but once they're like up and stuff, I'll pop the link out and shout about it on yeah. Instagram. Yeah, and I shall share it on mine as well. Oh, cats. I like cats and dogs. I think I am more of a dog person, but I do like cats as well. But cats spray shit everywhere. <laughs> I've always had cats. Though. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for coming. To I did for the take bears. for the yeah. polar bears. Remember to donate for the polar bears. Yes, there is a link down below. I managed to link to that, but I forgot to link to Jay's channel, so you have to go search that one. But JD, JD Ray reads. Um on That's YouTube. Me. Um I'm gonna try and finish my book during the day. I think I might try and listen to it. So I'm not reading that. But I don't think I have anything else that's polar fantasy, unless something's polar fantasy and I don't realise it's polar fantasy. Which is entirely possible, yeah. But then the cover would be wintry, wouldn't it? I'm pretty sure I don't have anything. Have you read the Sword of Kaigen? The what? Sword of Kaigen. No. Is that a series or is that a standalone? No, it's a stand. It, I mean, it's a chunker. I don't think I would recommend it. I just wanted oh, okay. to read it because in my mind, I thought that you might have. No, really not. But that's I one know. that I didn't know was going to be like polar fantasy. Yeah, I've really don't think I can. Baybound's blue. That's not polar, is it? No. Yeah, I'm going to have to have a search for this because this is like my audiobook. So I don't want to switch to physical for that um yeah okay um where did i where, what was the final comment i pinned ah i don't know um here, here that one can be that you're welcome <laughs> for the polar bears yes war cry <laughs> thank you all so much for joining tonight as i said jay's channel tomorrow steph thank saturday you for listening today yeah that's okay. Sorry. Yes, that was me. Yes, that was direct. Yes, you're welcome. That was directed at you. <laughs> My yeah. brain is shutting down now. Um, you are welcome. Thank you for uh, hosting a fantastic readathon that we're all very excited about. There's basic oh, sprints today now going forward, guys. Um, thank you all for being here. Thank you to anyone new that's come along. I've had a couple of new subscribers, which is nice. Um, mm. If you have more comments from me, I do them every week with my patrons. And it's linked down below. And it's our three-year anniversary next week on Valentine's Day. Because clearly I was sad and alone three years ago on Valentine's Day. Oh, Isn't cute. that cute, though? That's I was sad and alone. So I created, like, the best group of people. I just like that. I like that a lot. So, yeah. a little. Thanks. I freaking love it. So yeah, that's all linked down below if you do want to sign up. And um, I'm near a milestone, so that would be exciting. Um, but thank you for coming by. You're welcome. Totally bye. Um, is it bye. Arctic, or does it need an Arctic setting, Jade? Ice magic is fine, or a fantasy that's not ice magic but has a polar setting. So you yeah. can go either way. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, right, see you guys tomorrow or at some other point on these many live streams we're doing. Thank you all for coming. Have a lovely evening. Sleep well. Do it for the polar bears. Bye. For the polar bears. Bye. Bye.